Greetings, everyone. It's great to see you again. How many of you have ever, ever used crutches? Well, I brought a few of uh, some crutches today. You can see them right here. And some canes with me today. And, you know, when we're hurt or our bodies aren't able to work on their own, we can use crutches to help us or canes. This one was made by a, a Girl Scout or Boy Scout and they just got it all prepped and ready so they could go hiking. So it was a cane to use for strength as they're going up hills and down hills. So that's pretty cool. And then this one kind of makes me think of a shepherd's, a shepherd's crook. And they would use them to also walk and also to help them um, gather the sheep as a cane, but it is a cane. And then this one, this one's kind of special to me because this one was made by my, my dad. And he made it so um, with using woodworking and he made a big handle so his big hand could go over the edge and, and steady himself as he was hiking or walking, going for a walk. He ended up putting a little stopper at the end and supported itself, kind of special uh, way. You might want to make one someday too. Well, when we're hurt, we might have sprained an ankle, pulled a muscle, a ligament, and we can't walk very well. And that's where crutches really help us out, don't they? They really help us out. So I'm so glad someone invented crutches. If we didn't, if we were hurt or um, injured in some ways and we didn't have crutches, we'd have to sit in the chair like this and people would have to bring us our, our water and our, our snacks and things. We wouldn't be able to get up and get them. So that's where the crutches really are a great invention. Well, sometimes people say that um, it's a crutch to depend on someone or something. Have you ever heard that? Now, that means crutch. It is not this kind of a crutch. So it's a double meaning word. It has a different meaning. It's kind of a, a saying. So if you have a, 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 a depend on something like a crutch or something, what do you think it means? So it's kind of like if you can't make a decision um, all by yourself, you have to go to your friend and say, I'll check with my friend. I'll, I'll get back to you later. I'll let you know what I think. And you go to your friend, talk it over. Maybe it's a project. Oh yeah, maybe we can do that. No, maybe we can't do that. Whatever it might be. But after you talk to your friend, you can go back and you say, yeah, I'll do that. Or no, I won't do that. So, but you depended on talking to your friend to make your decision, but you did make your decision on your own. So in other words, they might say you're weak because you were weak. You couldn't make it all by yourself. You had to go rely on your friend. So who's the crutch? The crutch would be your friend. Yes, your friend. It's just a way of saying, like a double meaning word, a, a saying. And so listen for that. Maybe you'll hear it sometime. But guess what the Bible says about weak, that we're weak. You know what? It says that we're all weak. We're all weak. Yeah, every one of us has been weakened as we're growing because of number one main reason, sin. Yeah, we make wrong choices in our lives. And then we have to humble ourselves and ask for forgiveness and, and get ourselves back on the right, right track, right? But God doesn't want us to ever stay weak. No, he doesn't. And listen to what he says. And what better place to look than right here in our Bible. And this verse comes from Romans, which is in the New Testament. So we're going to go in half. We're going to be expert, 
expert navigators, and half again at the back, and that gets us to the New Testament. And Romans is right after Acts, which is right after Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John. So we'll just go back a little bit and we'll find Romans. And this comes from Romans 8, verse 26. So listen carefully. It has some it's kind of different words in there that maybe we don't hear every day. It goes like this. In the same way, the Spirit helps us in our weakness. That means the Holy Spirit. We do not know what we ought to pray for, but the Spirit Himself intercedes for us with groans that words cannot express. Or in other words, he might say it in a way they might, some versions might say it, through wordless groans. So in other words, it's not saying that the Holy Spirit's groaning. It's saying that the Holy Spirit hears our, our groans, or hears our concerns, and He can give us the words that we need. So the Holy Spirit speaks to God. It intercedes for us. That is so awesome. So He hears us, He hears our needs, and He speaks to God. So it intercedes for us, and He even begs God for us with deep feeling that words cannot explain. Because sometimes you just can't think of the right word that you want to say. You can't think of it, but the Holy Spirit would know it. You know, he would know it. He, and sometimes when we're praying, he'll give us that word as we're praying. So, you know what? Through the Holy Spirit, God makes us strong. Yeah, he does. He holds us up, he holds us up, and he keeps us from falling. So the Holy Spirit even just prays for us when, when we don't know what to say. As we're praying, he'll, he'll just give us those words. So these crutches are pretty great. Yeah, they help people from falling. They help them when they've been injured or hurt or they're weak because of an injury. But our God is really great, really great also. He'll never let us fall. So let's pray about that. Ready? Dear God, dear God, thank you for never letting us fall. Thank you for never letting us fall. Thank you for giving us the Holy Spirit. Thank you for giving us the Holy Spirit. Help us to always pray. Help us to always pray. In your name we pray. In your name we pray. Amen. Amen. Have a great week. And, you know, as you're going about the week, just remember that the Holy Spirit is always, always there to help us in all kinds of ways. He's there in our hearts. He's there in our minds. He's there. So that's why we pray and He will speak to us. So He's always there for us and what a special gift that is. Bye everyone, see you soon.